Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with using Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create new solid layer. Right mouse, new and solid. Add the name Element 3D. Click OK. And go to FX, Video Copilot, Element. Let's click Scene Setup. Import, select 3D model and open. Don't change any settings, click OK. And click normalize size. Select this arrow, move to up. And change view to left. And move to up like this. Back to perspective. OK, and let's go to create and create new plane. And change scale. And go to presets and let's enable show ambient occlusion and click environment checkbox and let's open environment backlight and let's use environment image for example let's use this or let's try this or this okay that's good and go to materials physicals and for this plane, I will use Matte Shadow. And click OK. So in this time, let's create new camera. Right mouse, new and camera. And change presets 50 millimeters. Click OK. And press C for control camera. Or we can control camera movements with these icons. I will use shortcut C. And change view like this. Okay, and let's create a new solid layer. Add the name background, click OK, and move to behind of Element 3D. Go to FX Presets, search Effect Fill, and use Fill, select color white, click OK, and lock layer, select Element 3D, open render settings, and lighting, and choose lighting here, stylize it. Okay, and open ambient occlusion let's enable for c shadows and change shadow 10 and let's change the settings for better results okay that's good and let's press c change camera view so in this time let's select this element 3d and go to group one and create group null Let's create here and select null object. Let's press P and move to back and create new passing Q frame. Go to two seconds and let's move to center like this and a little bit to right. And this part I will add text. Let's see. Okay, select Q frames, make it easy and go to graph editor let's change graph like this okay and this graph nice back to two frames and select this null hold shape press r open rotation create x y z rotation and go to here let's select these less rotation two frames move to right and go to here and change little bit rotations like this okay and x rotation and go to here chain rotation like this and select two frames let's move to the left and these rotations move to the left let's see okay select rotation two frames make it easy and select y rotations go to graph editor let's see Okay, that's good. Okay, not bad. Select middle two frame. Let's make it smooth. And this let's change graph. Nice. Back to two frames. And in this time, let's go to text right here, Black Friday. Classation tool and change spacing. 
In this time, let's hide text, go to element and open custom layers. And again, custom text and mask. And path layer one, let's choose here Black Friday text. And go to scene setup. Click extrude, select this extrude model and drag and drop here for new group and change group here too. And in this time, let's move it up like this. Okay, we can play settings for bevel and let's change bevel 4 and path expand. Okay, not bad and back to presets and let's use black glass. Click OK. Select element 3D, let's go to group 2, create group 01, create here, select 02 and go to anchor point, let's move the up, click station 2 and press R, chain rotation and move to here and move to down, chain rotation a little bit like this. So in this time select this group 2. And right now press P and move up, create new passing keyframe, go to fave keyframes and move it down. Again go to 10 keyframes, for shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard and let's move it up. Again 10 keyframes, move it down, again 10 keyframes, move it up and again Move to down. Select two frames and make it easy. And let's see. Let's change quality quarter. Okay, we have problem with two frames. Select all of them two frames, right mouse, two frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Okay, select these last five two frames, move to left. And also like more, let's see. Nice. Let's select this element 3D. Open particle look. Let's open multi objects and enable. So right now we can rotate text elements and let's hold alt click rotation and right here wiggle one six. Let's see. Okay, let's double click for edit right here 12 and this 3, let's see. Okay, we can edit this 2. And for remove this light flicker, select this element 3D and go to scene setup, select extrusion model and black gloss and go to down, let's change glossness 0. Or we can use a little bit glossness. Okay, click OK. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. For final, I want to show how to fix this shadow problem. Select this element 3D, go to render settings, ambient occlusion, and as you can see our samples, let's choose this 64 for better shadows. And select element 3D, click this icon for motion blur. Also select this group 1 null and press U for C keyframes. And in this time select this X, Y first keyframes, delete. And go to here and change rotation like this. And select these two keyframes, move to the left. And let's see. Okay, go to graph editor, select this graph and make animation graph like this. Okay, pretty good. Back to two frames and go to first two frame and select first position two frame and move to back like this. Okay, select rotation, move to right. Okay, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day.